All right, you asked for it. Um, well, of course, being on stage is nerve-wracking, always. Not because of the audience. It's nerve-wracking because of your own expectations. It is also nerve-wracking when you're a kid and you know the expectations of your parents and your teacher. The audience does not matter yet in your life. So after a concert, of course, you know, in a normal, ideal world, you're happy, the audience was applauding, it was a success, you go to sleep. That's the ideal world. Now, my father um, knew that, but he also knew in an ideal world, you're not gonna develop as quickly as you have to in order to be first class. There's two different worlds. It's the ideal world and the world which we really live in, the real realistic world. So let's talk about the autopsy. Yes, he sneaked always in a DAT uh, machine, which he had in his pocket here, and had a little lapel mic. And he did record the whole concert. And he was always making sure he had a front seat so that when we listened back, that every little mistake would be well recorded. That's where it started. And then, once the concert was over, most of the time, we of course had to travel. You know, these were the days when after I didn't have 10 concerts in a row. So most of the time we drew, for instance, from Aachen to Brussels, which is about two and a half hours in the car. And that gives plenty of time after a concert. Let's say I finish a concert by 10.15. So we get into the car by 11. So we drive home, we arrive like maybe 1.30 in the morning. So from 11 to 1.30 in the morning, we're listening to, with headphones, because the car makes noise. So we have to listen very clearly. So we had a double headphone, me sitting on the right, him driving the car, I'm in front seat. And we went through the, the whole concert with his criticisms many, many times, not once, not twice, not three times, through the whole thing. And of course, my dad is a different generation. So he made me, of course, feel very strongly when he was upset about something we discussed before and didn't work out on stage. So I did not g get to sleep with the success in my head. I went to sleep with being criticized for being not good enough. Different story. But here's the positive part. If you can survive this, Nothing else in life will make you feel upset or will make you feel not, um, not good. Because you know, after this, you can, you can basically have the, the worst critic in the newspaper and you will smile about it because it will never be as harsh as your father criticizing you after a successful concert. 